Hey everybody, this is Rich from Fast Reviews and I am super excited right now because I just got this. This is the Skidio, or Skydio, I don't know, drone. This is the package that has limited quantity. They actually have a reservation system. So I have ordered the Skidio, I don't know, a long time ago. And I've got the starter kit here. And it was originally ordered back in November. 21st 2019 hundred dollar reservation deposit november 2019 you can see right here 100 bucks okay a year later it comes so i get this message saying uh hey final reminder complete your order and so i've ordered this uh, starter kit which is roughly about uh let's see what it's at right now it is a thousand dollars for this kit let's go ahead and unbox it so you can see me First thing I see is that it comes with a landing pad. This is a case that is also a landing pad, all right? And it comes with a letter that says, we're excited to have you. Skidio 2 presents five plus years of work to build a drone that has enough autonomy and intelligence to make flying drones more useful, more fun, and less stressful for everyone. Hey, that rhymes. We hope that you'll agree as you get flying. Okay, safety operation guide. Um, don't get it stuck in the tree. Anyway. So we're gonna go look and we're gonna compare this to the DJI Mavic 2, which is the only drone I currently have right now. You can tell my wife. We have the beacon, the propellers, and the extra battery. All right, now these actually came in two different packages here. It shipped separately the main drone and it shipped separately the propellers. I'm not sure why, I'm not, I'm not sure if your experience is gonna be the same, but I decided to go minimalist and I decided to simply get the starter kit plus the extra propellers and the extra battery. Okay, now a couple thoughts. The reason I did that is because the Pro Kit is $2,500, which is a lot, but it's an enterprise grade Pro Kit. And the Sports Kit is actually $1,499, so it's about $1,500. So my thinking is, well, you know, that's kind of like Mavic 2 Pro territory with the Hasselblad lens. So I don't know. The Cinema Kit is $1,899. And that also includes uh, extra propellers and a battery. And it includes uh, ND filters as well too, which I don't typically use in shots. Um, uh, I did the starter kit and then I did the add-ons and basically that took me to roughly about slightly over a thousand dollars. Now, let me tell you something about the features before we unbox this baby. This is a drone that operate that has 4K 60 frames per second with HDR. You're basically getting the latest standard. It does go 36 miles per hour autonomously. So that's enough to keep up with a slow moving car. It has a 23 minute battery, which is equivalent to um, the Mavic series, Mavic 2 series. It's 50% quieter. It has three axes and it has a range of 3.5 kilometers. And 3.5 kilometers is pretty significant because it is about two miles, okay? So now the cool thing about this setup is that it uses intelligence and AI. Some of the people that worked on the Tesla Autopilot actually went to Skidio and uh, developed some of the technology. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox it. If you remember my other video, the, uh, the DJI, they had the zippers on backwards. So let's see if this is the correct way. All right, I can live with that. So basically it has a Wi-Fi. It has a password removed before flight. Very sturdy. Got a uh, screen thingy. Does not have a separate compartment for the USB-C unless it's meant to go here. It does have a, a sophisticated camera system actually. It comes with a little uh, charging brick here, which is in a weird compartment that is probably could be for a battery. I don't know. Uh, USB-C. Let's read the voltage. It's the five, nine, twelve, fifteen, or twenty. So similar to a Nintendo Switch type of plug. So this is a nice step to doing this universal. Um, the DJI also does uh, 5, 9, and 15. Remove and discard. This is the battery here. So let's take that out. And we've got some propellers in here, but everything is actually pre installed, it seems. I got one, two. I've got two extra right here. And I ordered a set of four, I guess. All right, so let's take that out there. And then here is drone. Wow, it almost feels like it's a carbon fiber. All right, so I've got the Wi-Fi password also here, kind of replicated, so I'll take that out. All right, and then this battery will go on top right here. It says remove before flight. So unlike the uh, gimbals and the DJI product, this thing is red. 
and it actually says remove before flight. So that should save some grief because there's a lot of people that always forget. It's got a magnetic attachment here, which is good and bad. It's good and bad because if you're gonna hit a tree, then you are going to get stuck because the drone might pop this out. So when the drone has a lot of um, pressure, let's just say it's it's flying. I don't know which way. <laughs> I have no idea which way, but let's just say it's flying like this. Okay. If there is, if it's gonna hit a tree, it's gonna try to get an impact, and then this is gonna pop out. Okay. So. I definitely don't like that because I think it needs to be clipped. This is fin channel, which is kind of interesting. So that has a little fin right there. Um, overall though, very aerodynamic, very sleek, feels good. Doesn't have a fragile gimbal sticking out. Well, it, does, it is here, but it is kind of um, enclosed. Look at that. You can got some uh, interesting movement there. I can go FPV style. I can go up and down. So everything is Pretty nicely protected. Um, USB-C charging on top here, which is very interesting because that means that I might be able to charge the battery from within the drone itself, which is nice. All right, and then let's put this down. We can figure out which direction. All right, insert the micro SD card. You're gonna need a class three or faster. Connect the battery. You're gonna attach the battery to the Skidio 2 on the bottom. So that's the bottom. Charge the battery using the charger and the adapter. Very nice that it's uh, compact. So the battery is fully charged when light stop blinking and that's it. So super easy. Um, I love that it has a built-in charger so I don't have to carry a, uh, a, a DJI uh, laptop style board. And then let's go ahead and open up these guys. This is another battery here. And then we're gonna do that because I am kind of curious to see the layout, if it fits into the same case or what. These boxes, by the way, they're they're very similar to the DJI ones. So when you order a DJI um, accessory or a product, it actually comes very similar. Okay, there we go. We've got our 4680. And this is a 5000 milliamp game system here. Uh, if you haven't seen my other video reviewing it, then you can. It plays games. So this is definitely heavier than this. Interesting that they would put the magnets on the uh, battery though. And it does come with a little tiny bit of charge. Okay, and then we're gonna open up this uh, beacon here. Now the purpose of the beacon is that this drone will be able to follow you using the beacon locator. So it doesn't use the same system as the DJI. You can actually use this for a precise location. So if you're traveling in a car, you can get this thing to follow you. But I'm gonna guess that you're gonna to have to charge the beacon. And I'm actually impressed that it actually can use, that if it actually uses GPS to do that. So here is the beacon. Uh, I got a Wi Fi username and password here. It takes in a USB C as well, which is very nice. And it's got something that looks like a speaker on the bottom. Very interesting. Doesn't work when I hold it down. Charge the beacon using the, utilizing the vehicle charging cable powered on by holding the power button. Power on the Skidio 2, hold the battery power, and then pair it by plugging in the USB-C directly into it for 10 seconds. And I get to use camera control, so I can actually change the camera angle. I can decrease the range or increase the range. And using the stop button, I can hover and land. So that's pretty cool, uh, actually. So it says connect a vehicle, which I assume means the drone here. I've removed the, uh, I removed the gimbal holder, so the drone should be able to power up. Let's see how fast we can get this boy in. Let's see if this fits. This does fit. So this will support, this case will support two batteries, which is nice. And then uh, where will we hide the USB-C charger? Probably up there, I guess. Now, the cool thing about this is that this actually is a landing pad for the drone. It is actually going to land on the case, which is actually pretty good because I typically land the drone on a case if I'm going uh, river rafting or in a nature environment or I land it on something that is a little bit flat. All right, here we go. Let's see Let's see if we got enough juice to pair this. So you're gonna need to get the Skidio 2 app, which is on the App Store and Google Play. Um, hold the button down for three seconds to power it up, and then you're gonna pair this for 10 seconds to the drone to get this to work. Thank you so much for watching my video review of the Skidio 2 drone. This is an amazing drone, and for more information on how to fly it, please see my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the future.